Hello and welcome to another episode of Ezoic Explains. I'm Whitney Wright and today I'm going to be talking to you about our new product, Site Speed Accelerator. It's super exciting. Um, so a little bit of background, about 50% of publishers that we talked to in a recent poll said that they care more about having a 100 out of 100 mobile site speed score over visitors or revenue, which is a big deal. And part of this is fueled by Google's pressure to have high site speed scores, especially for mobile. Um, and so what we've created is a site speed accelerator and we guarantee a mobile site speed score on Google Page Speed Insights of 80 or above. Um, and that's really incredible. Uh, desktop, we also guarantee it, but mobile over 80 on Page Speed Insights. So today I'm gonna to walk you through um, some of what Site Speed Accelerator is in case you are not familiar with it. And uh, then I'm gonna walk you through best practices for the Site Speed Accelerator. So to start off, this is completely accessible independently of any of our other features, um, which means that you can sign up just through the Site Speed Accelerator without signing up for anything else that's offered through Zoic. So the Site Speed Accelerator is the tool that instantly increases website speed page load times, and page speed scores without broken pages, coding, troubleshooting, any of that. Um, it makes site speed best practices super easy uh, to turn on and off with these toggles. And you can set the intensity of the tool um, based on your comfort level and what makes sense for your site specifically. Um, some of these aspects that are being optimized through the site speed accelerator are CSS images, caching policies, pre-connect origins, script execution, and content. Um, so to get started with the Site Speed Accelerator, you'll need to integrate with the Azoic platform. Uh, we recommend doing this through Cloudflare or name servers, AKA a CDN, though we do have a WordPress plugin. Um, the only thing about the WordPress plugin is that it is a plugin. So it's due to the nature of plugins, it's going to add a little bit of extra load time. And so while it's a great tool that we um, have provided as a WordPress plugin, we recommend doing Cloudflare or name servers um, to see the best page speed results. Um, after you're integrated, you'll go in and there will be options to turn on certain devices and you'll want to turn all of those on. There's one for tablet, desktop and mobile, um, and then you'll turn on the site speed accelerator. So now site speed accelerator will be used on your tablet, desktop and mobile pages um, once you figure out what settings you want. Um, so what's really nice about the site speed accelerator as well and the platform here is that you can create multiple versions of site speed accelerator settings to activate or deactivate. So you can kind of um, activate one and see how it does. And then if you wanna try maybe adding something, you can make a completely new version um, and turn that one on without deleting the settings of your other one. We suggest um, toggling this menu to recommended. By selecting this, um, particular elements of site speed will automatically be selected for you. Um, and then you can go back in and kind of nitpick at those if you'd like. Um, there's also conservative and experimental, but um, or you can completely customize your own. But we recommend starting with recommended. Uh, the conservative one will help your site speed, uh, but you're not going to see nearly the same results. So once you turn on recommended, some of these site speed elements um, that will be implemented um, as critical CSS, lazy loading images, next-gen formats, resizing images, efficient static cache policy, pre-connect origins, script delay, and add delay. Um, and just a note, if you are currently using Azoic caching features, uh, you'll want to make sure that your caching is activated. So after you choose your setting, um, you can actually preview your site with those settings before you ever go live with it. Um, so you can go through, click on the preview, you can check things like your display ads, your menus and images, um, different pages on your site to make sure that everything's still loading properly and that you can first get that preview before you make it live to everyone else. And just a note on that, if there are things that aren't working, um, ads should show and all other aspects of the page should look the same. Um, and if they don't, you should try a different version with slightly different settings. Um, and then you can let Ezoic know in our feedback area. And that's something that we can look into. Something specifically that's really awesome about this tool is that you can actually test the site speed score of your site with the features you've set before you go live with it. So once your preview page pops up, you can copy and paste that new uh, review URL into Google Page Speed Insights and see the score 
that um, if you go live with this particular version, um, where if you're where you want to be, or if you want to make some other tweaks. Like all of our other products, um, the SiteSpeed Accelerator is true machine learning. Um, so as more users visit your site, the SiteSpeed tool will continue making improvements based on what it learns from those visitors. Uh, this means that if the SiteSpeed Accelerator gets your site to a 97, it will continually work to improve that site speed score in the background um, to get you closer or up to 100. So once you have everything set the way that you would like, disable um, any conflicting site speed plugins or features that duplicate Ezoic features. Um, so speed optimizations, image compression, lazy loading, any of those plugins that you've added in, you can disable them or delete them. Um, and plugins, actually more plugins that you're site has, uh, the slower it's going to be. So that's why one, it's important to get rid of them and two, the site speed accelerator is going to take care of that anyway. Um, and the site should have site speed accelerator on for at least 12 hours prior to running page speed tests, um, just to make sure everything's fully implemented. And that's it for the site speed accelerator. Um, if you want to learn more about it, we just published an entire blog on it. Um, and that's available on ezoic.com slash blog. Uh, and you can find that right there. Or if you want to read about the site speed accelerator on our website, it's ezoic.com backslash site hyphen speed. Um, and that's it for this episode of Ezoic Explains. Um, we'll catch you next time.